Welcome everybody. I'm super happy to present you a new service on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. And the service name is Redis Cluster Service. So it's a very nice news to have um, the main solution of catching on the market. And now this solution is a managed service on OCI. As you see, I have already created my cluster, Redis, before. And this cluster has three nodes. Each node has two gigabytes of memory. If I want, I can resize a node and so create more nodes, or I can resize memory. And for example, I can increase the memory if I need to store more data on this Redis cluster. After that, I did for you a demo application. I use Spring Boot. And uh, mainly, I use Spring Boot Data Redis. So because it's a very simple way to, to code and to use Redis from Java with Spring Boot. First, you can see the path for the connection. The first connection here is a connection, to, for example, to Redis cluster on redis.com. And there, it's a connection to the Redis cluster on OCI. We are using TLS. So the code is strictly the same, whatever the location of the Redis cluster. That's the good news. After that, I work with an information that is a student with some field. The main thing is you need to have an ID because Redis will use this ID as the key in order to store the information in the Redis cluster and not the name student, because Redis will use this information in order to store the information, to store the data. And so I created a student repository, extend CRUD repository, so standard. Then after that, I created an interface with three methods, set student, get student, get all student. I implement the service using the repository. And at the end, I created the three REST services so the three restful services using the student service. Very, very simple. After that, I deployed um, this code in a Docker image, and I pushed the Docker image on the Docker registry uh, in my tenant on Phoenix. After that, I created a container instance. It's very, very simple, a container instance it is just, I want to run my Docker image. I don't want to specify anything else. It's very simple, more simple than Kubernetes. And so I created a container instance, and I have a container that is running with my image, it is here. And I have a public IP, if I want. I will destroy this information after recording the video, sure. So I can use this public IP in a passman in order to call the different REST service. Okay. For example, just before I created this test student, then after that, I get this test student. Okay. And I call the method to get all the students. Okay. All the students are there. So very simple, very fast. I can check that using the Redis client in a VM. The VM should be in the same virtual network as the, as the Redis cluster, because the Redis cluster on OCI uh, cannot be uh, reached from internet. So I can show you the endpoint. It's not a problem, because you cannot access to it. As you see, different keys here, student 100, 200, 300. Type student, this is a set. Okay. In the set, I have all the keys 100, 200, 300. Type student 100 is a hash, so I can get the information student 100 in order to get all the field of the student with the ID 100. It's very simple to use, it's very powerful, it's a managed service. So you have nothing to do except using it. And so I'm super happy uh, soon on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure 
you will be used this kind of clonated service. Thank you for your attention.